good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the official WWE Action Figure Room Tour of the MDT YouTube channel. So today, guys, I'm going to be taking you through the entire MDT room or the WWE Action Figure Room or whatever the hell you want to call it, the office, whatever you want to call it, Brad. We're going to go through the entire thing here today. I'm very excited. We do this at the end of every single year. We always do a full room tour, and we're going to go through and break down all the shelves, show you guys all the figures, get it up in the personal business, see what all we got going going on in here and we will showcase everything for you guys so what we're going to do is i'm going to go outside of that door come back through the door and then uh, show you guys my perspective as we go across the room and show you guys the entire thing as we celebrate the year 2020 as terrible as it was well, with that being said guys i'm going to go out there and i'll see you guys on the flip side all right guys so if we come through the door right here you guys will see on my left immediately is the closet right here and behind me here's the door nothing too special about the door except for this uh, mini hoop we got going on. We got the mini hoop. This is not actually the ball that it comes with. This is actually my son's ball that goes to his little tight goal. We got him for Christmas but uh, he took one of his balls to visit somebody in the family and he never, he didn't bring it back home. I think it's still over at their house so I, I stole his ball that I've been shooting with and if you're wondering why this blanket's here this blanket is here simply because this door rattles and makes a shish ton of noise and uh, we got the MDT Life sticker on the backboard right there even though it's flailing down. Gotta represent. But over here on my left guys you will notice this closet and if you go in the closet, I'm not going to show you the, the upper part of the closet. I got some stuff from my brothers in here because he, he he's changing houses. And yeah, he's got he, he's got to get his ish out. But I'm holding on to that until. But I'm not going to show you the top of the closet. But right here we have all of my bins. This has all of my weapons, all of my accessories. I'll take you through it real, real quick. At the top when we do have all of my weapons and stuff. This is like any crazy weapons. You know, not chairs and stuff, but like, you know, pallets, wheels or tires, chains, bricks, kendo sticks, sledgehammers, all of that stuff. All of that is in here. We got a ton of stuff in there. Let me know down below if you guys would like a more detailed look through all of these drawers. Maybe we can make that happen. Right here we have my championship drawer. You have all of my championship belts. You have all the title belts in here. You got all my money in the bank cases. All of that stuff is in here. Underneath there we got more belts. There's a ton of belts in here. We always count up the WWE figure belt collection, but there is that. Our next drawer, guys, is going to be my cloth goods accessories that are not on display or in the pick fed or anything. This one's got a lot of stuff going on. Like, there's a ton of clothes in here. Tons of custom shirts, custom Marty Skrull jacket right there. You got uh, just all kinds of stuff. There's a ton of stuff in here. Not going to spend a whole time on it, but that that is my cloth accessories. Down here is where all the damn rubber accessories go that we always complain about. It's going to even be hard to open this, but I can't even get it open. It's so full stuffed to the rim because I don't ever use them. I don't even, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I'm running out of space. Every time we get a new rubber accessory that I'm not going to use, I come over here, I shove it down in there as hard as I possibly can, and that's pretty much it. In this bottom drawer, I guess we got some WWE figure stands and some ring ropes and stuff. This top one right here, we do have all my steel chairs. So all my black chairs, silver chairs, blue chair, any chair goes in here unless I'm using it for a, you know, a match or a backstage setup or something like that. We have all of my tables. So, so right here we have all of my tables in that drawer, quite a bit of tables. And then at the bottom, we have all of my ladders and they're being, a, they're being crazy. About that. So right here we have all of my ladders. So yeah, 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 you got that. You get the idea. So you got tables, ladders, chairs, or tables, ladders, chairs. Stupid idiot. So there's that. If we exit the closet. You'll see right here on the right, we do have my NFL Fantasy Championship from 2017 or 2016. I can't remember. I know I have two Super Bowls, but I never got my title for the second one. Need to, you know, need to hunt that down. But you got my NFL Fantasy Wrestling Championship. Up here, we have some figures on display as well as my Masters of the Universe figures. I'll get up there real quick to do a quick run through. So up here, guys, you guys will see just an assortment of superstars. Rest in peace to Luke Harper slash Brody Lee. A beautiful show that AEW put on in honor of him last night. That was fantastic. But you have Aiden English, Razor Ramon slash Scott Hall. You got Roddy Piper. Yeah, I'm not going to name all of them, but you guys get the idea. So we just have a random assortment of figures up here. Summer Custom. We have some different stuff going on. At the end right there, you guys will notice. We have my Super Cena figure up next to Gronk. You got Crime Time. Rest in peace to Shad as well. Iron Sheik, Buddy Murphy. Nothing nothing else crazy right there. Just above that, we have more figures. You got just, you know, just a random assortment. I didn't really, I, I tried to pick some of the rare ones out, some of the exclusives and stuff, and I just kind of stuck them up here. You got some 
some Builder figures Andre the Giant, Big Boss Man, Dusty Rhodes, Christian, Custom Marty Skrull, and then you got Velveteen Dream there at the end with his three figures. Then you have the Masters of the Universe figures. Nothing too great with those. You know, I just, I had nowhere else to put them. I kept them mocked, so then I just threw them up there just to fill in the gaps because the gaps were kind of bothering me a little bit. So if you come down from there, we've already covered this section right here. You will move into the main section of my display as well as my custom area, which is kind of dumb right here because this is called my custom area, but it's really just where I keep my supplies. I don't actually work right here. When I initially put this table here, I thought I would work right here. I'd pull my chair over here and I would watch the TV over there and you know, I'd work over here. That is not what I do. What I do is I gather all my BS that I want, my paints, my whatever, and then I carry it over here and then I customize and then I ruin the table. So that's what's going on right here. But anyways, back to over here, guys, you just got some acetone, Dremel, scissors, paints and stuff. You got the custom project right here that we're working on. You got Luchasaurus, all of my different paints, some Ultimate Edition Finn Balor's down here, a bunch of custom stuff I'm working on right now. If you guys are wondering what best paint to use, it's Citadel Air, which is down there. You got paint brushes and all of that. Right here is all of my boxes. Now these are uh, gonna go into handy one day. Right now I'm just collecting them. I've thrown a ton of them away, but you guys can just see we have assortment of AEW boxes, regular WWE Elite boxes, and there's a ton underneath this desk as well. And this is my broken monitor that I thought about making a Titan Tron out of. I'm still in the process of kind of doing that, so we'll see what comes of it. But it's kind of keeping some of those boxes up in there and it doesn't get in my way, so I figured I'd leave it. Now, as we come over here, guys, the lighting's gonna be a bit ishy, and I apologize. It's because one of the lights is out, and that's why I decided to go with the lamps on right here, so that it'll help us out with some of the lighting. But up front, on the bottom row, guys, we have probably my favorite figure in my collection. You got the George Washington right there. What a beautiful piece. You got Abe Lincoln. You got Teddy Roosevelt. This section right here is actually my weird figures, or my weird figure collection is what everybody likes to call them. So you got uh, Egghead Finn Balor, Jason Statham. You got Little E. You got Rakesh Lee. You got Big Torito. You just got some weird figures going on right here. Some more Masters of the Universe. You got the Iron Man Championship Johnny Gargano back there. On this middle section, this is kind of like our current roster deal. So you'll see all of my current guys. Some people that have their own figure sections, but I just decided to put their most recent versions right here. That way, if I do a predictions video or I do anything like that, I can just grab them real quick and I can you know use them in the video or the setup or whatever the case is and put those up there. But you got some new figures up there. You got Retribution at the front right there. There's some weird figures thrown together. You got the Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley section going on right here. Really don't even have a John Moxley, just mostly Dean Ambrose right now. Still waiting on my AEW Series 2 to get John Moxley in here. But there is the Dean Ambrose. It's coming up on the Daniel Bryans. Plenty of Daniel Bryan figures that we need to get, but I have not tracked those down just yet. But there is that. And then at the front, at the bottom right corner, we do have Kane, and I am missing quite a few Kane figures as well as that one missing a head sculpt, which uh, is somewhere, but you got all the Kanes right there. And we come just above the Kane section, guys, we are going to enter into the rated R section of the setup, and it's going to be Edge. We have Elite 83 right there at the front. You got all of his different Elites going back through. You got some basics right here. Got the fix-up on the WrestleMania figure, a couple customs from WrestleMania, and the New Year's Revolution where he cashed in. A couple basics, like I said, on display, which isn't usual for me. I usually don't put any basics on display, but here's the Xavier Woods section, moving into Big E, and then on into Kofi Kingston, which uh, is also missing some figures. I'm missing some figures from all three. I'd like to complete all three of them, but I figured the New Day needed to go together. Up next, guys, we do have my boy Kevin Owens, one of my favorite wrestlers, so we have a ton of Kevin Owens right here. You got some pick-fed custom specials right there. Then you just have all of his different attires and different fantasy looks that we got going on. You got the Chase variants. You got a bunch of custom fix-ups, like I said, again, with decals. Plenty of these probably just need to be remade to be honest with you because of the updated parts and stuff that we've gotten but I love KO and I got a bunch of his figures right here and we even have some Kevin Steens back here in the back but after Kevin Owens we do have the Sting section so you got a nice uh, you got a nice amount of Stings going on on the corner over here leading into the Shane McMahon section which got a, which got a decent little selection of figures and then we have the Beast Incarnate up front with Brock Lesnar you got the Ultimate Edition up front and then you have the rest of his figures there which looks pretty good we need some more throwback Brocks I know his attires have mostly been covered, but I'd like to see some more with some updated head sculpts or some newer head sculpts. And then you got a random North American Championship right here. Moving up, guys, it is the Trash Corbin section. So you got Trash Corbin right there. Behind him, you do have Shinsuke Nakamura with all of his different elites. I actually have more Shinsuke's than I thought. I even have one on the Vindication shelf. And I actually have more Samoa Joe's than I thought as well. Like looking at this, there's like, what, eight right here, which is ridiculous. And then there's another one on the Vindication shelf. So there's all of our Samoan Josephs. You got the Mustafa Ali 
piece section right here and a bunch of these kind of run together so I kept like some of those you know I, I kept a lot of those NXT talents kind of together right here so you got Mustafa Ali Ricochet Ricochet leading into the Aleister Black section got the custom white fantasy attire into Tommaso Ciampa and then it goes into Undisputed Era so you got Bobby Fish you got Kyle O'Reilly who has an assortment of figures after we got freaking three chase variants by accident you got Roderick Strong has a couple and then we get into the Adam Cole Bebe's and then on into Eddie Guerrero who's kind of just randomly thrown in there but I had four of them so I figured I'd put them all together so after the Adam Coles and stuff guys we go into the Chris Jericho section which is probably one of the more underrated sections in the collection one of my favorite customs ever is this 2005 Chris Jericho that stuff right there is hand painted on those tights it's some of his best tights he's ever worn in his career but you have all the Jerichos leading up to I know we have a random DM right there that needs to be back there I, ch I typically try to keep them in timeline order but some of them are out of whack you got his AEW Jazzwares figures you got the little bit of the bubbly exclusive on into the Braun Strowman section which is the monster among men got quite a few of those so I uh, got two shirtless right there and then we end up in the Cedric Alexander section most of these are supposed to be turned into customs but I haven't gotten there just yet so they're just chilling so as we move up from Cedric guys we go into the Mr. T section not a massive section but we do got a couple Mr. T's or three of those there after that we have the Miz section I do have an extra Elite 69 but I used it for parts so that's why that's not there we are missing a couple there you have John Morrison up next to him I am missing a few of the John Morrisons I think it's two or three of those we got some Usos right here the rest of my Usos are on the MDT live shelf we got the big show so what I'd love to do is just one day like superstar by superstar just go through when I get a little bit of money there and just you know knock out all these superstars that I'm missing all these figures of I'd really like to do that but we also have the Sami Zayn's back here who has some of the most underrated figures that you could possibly get and then after Sami Zayn guys we do have the Triple H section which is pretty nice I love Triple H's figures even though a lot of them are very similar you gotta you gotta appreciate the Triple H figures going through right here we do have multiple so if you see a lot of the same figures because there'll be future customs so that, that there's the reason for that but going back in here getting into the mid 2000s and then back into the earlier parts of 2000s go from 04 into 03 different colorful attires you got the 2002 look early 2000s and then on into Hunter Hearst Helmsley which I actually did just use my Elite 23 Triple H to make a custom so I got to get that back in the collection behind that guys we do have American Alpha I used to have two or three Chad Gables we have one down there but I used to have a lot more that's why they have a, a small section right here you have the current WWE champion with the new Elite 83 Drew McIntyre up front right there a lot of those are similar but you got the Drew McIntyres into the Macho Man section which is not as big as I'd like I'd like to get a lot more Macho Men but we are not there just yet and then up front we do have Bobby Lashley or Bobby Trashley with a couple of Elite 69s and then the uh, custom in the back just above that guys we have a nice colorful Rey Mysterio collection so you got all the Rey Mysterios here very fun figures to collect plenty of attires that we have not gotten plenty of fix-ups to make and stuff which will make this shelf bigger but for now this is where they rest I probably have two or three more spots before we run out of, of you know room or anything but there is the Rey Mysterios so next to Rey Mysterio guys we do have the Randy Orton section Randy Orton being one of my favorites of all time so we do have quite a number of those all of his different gears certain moments you got the you got the Evan Bourne RKO out of nowhere or the shooting star press RKO you got you know a few moments here summer slams and just different moments where he won championships or won the Royal Rumble going into some different fix-ups you got his uh, WrestleMania 31 attire you got the WrestleMania 33 you got the Royal Rumble from 2017. You got WrestleMania 34, a white fantasy attire. And then we got all of his current day figures with some different head swaps and things of that nature. And then we have a custom pop by my boy Rodney. And then we have the official Funko Pop that Rodney also sent me. After Randy Orton, guys, we do have Batista. So we're getting into the animal section right there. And now we have all of these different Batistas. I would have more Batistas if we did, you know, if they weren't so damn expensive. Batista's figures are pretty damn expensive. And uh, I, I knocked out a bunch of trays to get these blue Tistas in here but we got a couple of least 72s there and it leads us into the Dwayne the Rock Johnson section or the Rock section where you got Rocky Maivia going into his different looks throughout his career and you guys will see it slowly build up into more of a current day Rock and uh, you know you got the new Elite 81 here which is not a good figure in my opinion but you know you got all that and then you got the Ghostbusters Elite Rock at the end. If we come above that guys we do have HBK and HBK doesn't get enough figures man I feel like all of his figures are from you know like throwback HBK but 
I would love to see some early 2000s. We need more long pants HBKs like we see down here at the end of the section, but that's not enough. I know I'm missing the Elite 3, I'm missing the Elite 7, but you know, I'd like to see more attires from that era and stuff like that, but I love collecting HBKs figures even though we are missing a few there. So there's Shawn Michaels. After that, we have the Stone Cold Steve Austin section. Beautiful section right here. I loaded up on these a while back and I'm very grateful for that. I feel like these kind of go for a pretty penny as well. Some of these guys, some of their Elites cost like $35 or something like that for each one, so I'm glad to have quite a few Austins for some different t-shirt looks and stuff that we got going on through here, but plenty more attires that we could do, but there's the Stone Cold section. Before we get into the John Cena's, guys, I'm going to go ahead and knock out both sides of these sections here, so I'll go over here first, and at the top, we do have the big dog. I mean, you got to put the head of the table, the tribal chief. You got to put him at the top, so you have Roman Reigns in the beginning, and then you have all of his different vest colors and different fix-ups and things of that nature over the years as we've collected his figures, so very, very similar. You pretty much just change the vest color and things of that nature, but his figures are fun to collect too, and they're underrated, I think. So you got all that. You also have our bloodline from the pick fed Roman Reigns, and then you have uh, the white fantasy attire, and then at the end, you do have CM Punk in a small little section right there with the all stars, the ringside exclusive. You got some different elites of punk right there. So for the punk fans, there's a nice little shot there. His figures obviously go for a pretty penny as well. And then on the flip side, guys, we do have a small little good brother section right there. Nothing too crazy going on. You got Mark Henry. You got the nice growing Goldberg section all released by Mattel except for which one is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, this is a custom I got from Beast Nation. And then we got the R-Truths. And then at the top we have Gold Dust. We got Dude Love slash Mankind slash McFoley Cactus Jack. And then at the front we have the Ultimate Warriors which we also don't have a lot of. So we're slacking on the Warriors and Macho Men. And then finally for our display in the middle big section guys we do have John Cena. So this is probably my favorite part of my collection. You have the very beginning of John Cena's career at his debut, and it goes pretty much all the way up until current day. You have the, you know, you have the Ghostbusters. This is the most recent Elite. I don't have the WrestleMania one. I've turned it into different fix-ups, and I have a whole box dedicated to John Cena Elite that we'll get into, but here is just a quick overview of different attires, different moments in his career. I consider John Cena the GOAT. He's, he's my favorite wrestler of all time, up next to a couple others, but John Cena is at the very top, so I wanted to make sure my John Cena collection was on point with all the different t-shirts and the looks over the years and things. If you see one missing a hat or something, it's probably because it at one point took a shelf dive and then his hat flew across the room or something and I will get that work done. But there is uh, the top shelf and then we come back to the bottom here and you got his different 2012 looks into 2013. You got the breast cancer awareness into his navy yellow and white into the other breast cancer attire into 2014 with all the different shirts and looks on into 2015. Nice blue color there. I love that United States Champ is here shirt there. You got the orange. We are missing the green one. I couldn't ever get anybody to make me a good green t-shirt so I do need to add that one. But going into modern day, different blue and orange and then into the green and then we have the Lance Catamaran, the Ghostbusters and then the MDT Live Champ is here when he won the MDT Championship. And then here at the end we have a custom like candle light of John Cena's face that my boy Brad Brad sent me. And then we have the armband that I actually mossed on a guy for at a WWE event. You know, John Cena tosses that thing into the crowd. Your boy's gonna rise up above them all and moss on their ass. So that's what we got. Alright, well that took way longer than I wanted it to, so I'm gonna try to speed things up a bit. So from that section, guys, we go into the middle section here of the room. You got the AEW Toy Championship. Up here we have my RKO blanket that I got for Christmas a few years back. You have my TV right here that I don't even use. If I use this TV, focus, you jackass. If I use this TV, it's to play PlayStation 2 games. I'll hook up the PS2 and get going in there and stuff like that. Down here, we have a few figures on display. Jazzware sent me these little mini figures, so I figured I'd put those on display. We got a nice little creator wrestler guy in a suit that I like. You got some different stuff on display here. You got the different puppets from the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. Nice John Wick dog on the left side. Here we have just a few figures on display. I didn't have a spot for the Hulk Hogan, so I wanted to put that Hollywood Hulk Hogan on display, as well as some pick fed refs. You got the MDT live ref and then the Vindication ref, but they kind of serve w double duty some nights. You know, they'll flip out t-shirts and stuff. Over here, we have a Defining Moments Chris Jericho, one of my favorite figures Mattel's ever made, and my boy Rob sent me that. Huge shout out to Rob for that. I really, really appreciate it. He sent me that DM Chris Jericho, so I keep that on display. After that, guys, going down here, these are just some random boxes full of elites. This entire box is full of John Cena elites and fix-ups and stuff that don't have room on the shelf for. So yeah, you, got, you just got a bunch of different John Cena's in here. Full, full, John Cena elites that are nice and fixed up and stuff. None of them are busted or anything really. Some are missing parts and stuff, but 
for the most part. I think in my total, in my collection, I have like 98 or 99 John Cena Elite. So there's that. Here's the thinking outside the box box where I have all of my figures that are broken down into different pieces and stuff that we try to rebuild in a series here on the channel. So there is uh, any figures and elites that are in this box are broken down and have parts missing. And then over here you have my loose WWE Elite figure collection. So these are all elites that do not make it onto the shelf. Some of them are new. Some of them are old. Some of them ha are fixed up. Some of yeah, yeah, there's just all kinds of stuff. So there's a ton of elites in here. Got a custom Ultimo Dragon in there. You got the new Legend Series Jake the Snake. You got EC3 back here. So yeah, just a ton of loose WWE figures that go in there. And then down here, this is just a bunch of nothing, just broken basics. Basics that are broken down. Nothing too immaculate right there. Coming over here into the corner, you got the trusty white hair dryer. You got my tripod that's in a busted piece of shit. I'd like to get rid of it and get a new one. Down here, we have a AEW ringside exclusive Kenny Omega ring and AEW authentic scale ring that's just mocking package. I just never opened it, so it's just chilling down there. We have a couple backgrounds right here that I use to take pictures of my figures for thumbnails and stuff. So you got the white sheet, and then you have this one that I flip around sometimes to get the light blue background. So I'll use those for thumbnails and stuff. On top of the desk right here, we do have my general manager's office, which you guys see in the pick fed and stuff. If you guys haven't seen the pick fed, definitely check it out. We use this office a lot in there. Got a custom little money in the bank briefcase over there. Nice little office, little MDT live posters, a little crooked, which I don't like. But outside of that, you do have the MDT general manager door right there. You got a nice setup with chairs and stuff. Here's my battery packs for my cameras. You got a nice little interview section over there. You got the backstage area. This is where we legit film a lot of our videos. You guys know I'll set up stuff right here and I'll have the all these lamps right here. What we'll typically do is line up all the lamps right here so that the, the lighting is nice and bright right here for all of our videos. You just got some nice backstage display for WWE figure setups and stuff. You got the, you know, the Wreck and Slam mobile. You got the ambulance over here. You got the camera that I actually do the pick fed with. My wife also uses it for photography. That's why we got this little nice uh, rainbow strap on there. Got my box full of markers and pencils and pens for writing stuff. You got some thumbtacks for hanging stuff. You got my Yeti mic over there for videos. It's muted right now so the government can't hear me. You got my beautiful computer. You got the nice monitors right here. You got the dual monitor set up. One for games, one for computer. It's in editing and stuff. Under here is just shipping stuff and a box of other electronics. Over here we have some more figures and stuff. These are figures that don't have a spot on the display but I didn't want to put in the loose box. You got Walter, Ultimate Fiend, Ringset Exclusive Bray, and then Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt Basic. This is probably the extent of my mock collection. I have a Mint Fiend, I have a Mock Storm Collectibles Hulk Hogan, a couple Pat Pattersons, a Hurricane figure, a Legends Eddie Guerrero, and then we have AEW Jazzwares, Cody, Kenny, and Chris Jericho all in their packaging. So this is the extent of my mock collection. These figures, that DM Chris Jericho over there, and then we have these figures as well as that Kevin Owens and then that Kurt Angle over there, which we'll get to. So like I said, you got these ambulance. You got a couple stretchers, some different things going on. Over there, you got the Triple H throne. Over there are my mini baggies full of different stuff and a dump truck accessory. My mini accessories that you guys see, some different parts and stuff are also in there. Over here on top of my computer, I do have some random figures going on. We got my custom Elite Leo Rush. We have the Elite 82 Alexa Bliss. We got my YouTube My Damn Toys 100,000 subscribers plaque. You got my dumb face in the, in the mirror part of the plaque. You got Dustin over here with the DX helmet. You got the trusty knife. You got the MDT Battle Royal Championship. New Battle Royal coming soon. You got the Alley Katniss Memorial Battle Royal Trophy that will be on the line at My Damn Nation. Over here we have my fan mail shelf. So any figures and like nice little custom things that you guys send me, I try to put it on the shelf as, as you know as much as possible. I try my best, but we're running out of room right there, so I do apologize. But I try to get them all on there. On this wall, this is probably one of my favorite walls as well. You got the Jeff Hardy beautiful Enigma, uh, not towel, but it's a flag. So it's a TNA flag. And then on this side, we have the phenomenal AJ Styles. So in retrospect, you got to put the AJ Styles flag behind the AJ Styles. And then you got to put the Jeff Hardy behind the Jeff Hardy section. We're about to go through these figures as well. But before we do that, guys, we do have my replica title belts. All of these are official replicas. You got the WWE spinner title right here. Autographed by Jeff Hardy right there. One of my favorite gems in the collection. There's a photo of me and Brad with Jeff Hardy. You have the Universal Championship with the Finn Balor side plates. 
you have the World Heavyweight Championship, which is actually autographed by Edge right there. So the Rated R Superstar has autographed that one. And in the back, we do have the WWF Championship, which is the championship of my childhood, which was obviously the championship when I was growing up or when I was a kid and first got into wrestling, one of my favorite belts of all time. And then before we get into the figures on this wall, guys, we do have my Dolph Ziggler section right here, which is the Still in the Show plaque autographed by Dolph Ziggler, where he cashed in and won the World Heavyweight title. We got this custom wooden surfboard that I got on a cruise that I, you know, just showed the guy the Steel in the Show logo and he made it up. And then we have a ring-worn hoodie from Hell in a Cell 2015 that is autographed by Dolph Ziggler right there. You got the Dolph Ziggler lanyard with some of my business cards in there and then a photo of him at the event where he wore it. God dang, I feel like this video is eight hours long or something. Starting out on the bottom shelf, guys, we do have the Matt Hardy section. So you got a few of the rings that exclusive, some Team Extreme going on into singles Matt into when he returned to the company up until his network spotlight figure. Moving on down, we do have the Kurt Angle section, one of my favorites of all time as well. Uh, I would love to grow this section. You also have that terrible ringside exclusive Kurt Angle, probably the worst figure they've ever made. Coming up next is the Finn Balors and one of my favorite current wrestlers today. We have all the Finn Balors, a few top talents that are going to be future customs. You got some different attires and custom figures coming up, some different fix-ups, and then all of his different attires over the years that I wanted to make into customs. So you got the all white, the all green, the all blue. You got money in the bank attires. You got his Elite 74 fix-up. You got a Finn Balor in the suit. You got a few more fix-ups and stuff. You got the new Elite 82. Then you get into the demon section, and the demon section's quite beautiful. We got all the different Mattel demons. We got a few customs in here. NXT TakeOver Dallas going into the, you know, the two-pack with AJ Styles. You got the Ultimate, Ultimate Edition going into some custom demons that we've gotten over the years. Some WrestleMania. You got all the different Devitts coming up here as well. You got Freddy Krueger. You got Punisher. Carnage, Venom, Anti-Venom, Spawn, Joker. And then we have some different fantasy attires here at the end with the pink and then the gray. Shout out to my boy Rodney for those. And then here at the end, we just have some more custom ones at the end. And then it gets into the AEW Jazzwear section with some different Kenny Omegas. You got Cody Rhodes. You got the Young Bucks. And then you have my custom Mattel Young Bucks at the end as well as my Hell's Gate Kenny Omega right here. If we come above Matt Hardy, guys, we will get into the Seth Rollins section. Another one of my favorite guys. So again, it's in timeline order. You got into singles action after the Shield, into the 2015 eras and stuff. I'll do my best to get as close as possible and go as slow as possible so you guys can actually examine the figures and, you know, not make it blurry or something like that. But here's all the different Seth Rollins attires and stuff going into 2016. You got WrestleMania 33 with the Elite 57. Into the SummerSlam Elite, you got Elite 64 and stuff. So again, if they if they have multiples of them, they'll be either fix-ups or customs or things of that nature. And so you got just all of his different attires, WrestleMania 34, the Elite 75, some more customs from WrestleMania 35, even though we are getting a, you know, a real version of that one. You got Survivor Series from last year. You got uh, WrestleMania 36. And then right here, you have a bunch of customs or fantasy attires right there with different part swaps and stuff. We have my Punisher custom fantasy attire Rollins. You got my white, black, gray, and blue attire. And then you have the best custom in my collection probably is the Toy Story Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins right there, which is absolutely beautiful. You got the naked Rollins, some more top talents and stuff, and then a suited Rollins. So the Rollins section is uh, is always growing. We're about to run out of room, actually. But finishing up this line, we do have the Undertaker section. So you got the Undertaker debut, and then you got going on all the different Taker figures. Plenty of more Undertakers that we could get, but this is a decent little section for Undertaker so far. And then you have all the way up into the Ghostbusters figure. There may even be a couple more after that, but there is the nice little Undertaker section if you guys wanted to take a look at that one. And then finishing it off, guys, on this top section, we do have the Jeff Hardys, which is another part of my favorites. You got the uh, custom little clown attire. You got Willow, Jeff Hardy, custom elite with the beautiful mask and everything like that. Really love that figure. One of my favorites in the entire collection. You got my custom fantasy attire Punisher Jeff Hardy in the trench coat. You got a bunch of the Elite 70 or is it Elite 71? I think it's Elite 71 Jeff in the pink. You got some different entrance greats, head sculpts on some different Jeff figures. You got the Elite 67 Chase variant with some different head sculpts. The Elite 67 for future customs and fix-ups. Going into some more Jeff Hardy elites. You got the FYE 2-pack. You got some Survivor Series, some Elite 75, and then you get into the uh, the ringside exclusive Hardy Boys 2-pack. After Jeff, guys, we do, in, we do get into Dolph Ziggler again, and it is in front of this plaque, so it stands out pretty greatly here. I apologize for any crappy lighting, but you got all these different attires and things of that nature, and early on in my collection, I used to get a ton of custom Ziggler, so you guys will see right here, we have a, a ton of custom Ziggler's that Mattel never made. Uh, beautiful, like, zebra attires and light blue and pinks and stuff. I know we got the Elite 70 Chase variant, but this is when I was hardcore into getting
being the, the custom Elite Zigglers made for the collection, so that is why the, these kind of hold a, a sentimental part in my heart for the, the Dolph Zigglers that we got going on. And then you got some different moments for like his cash in, his money in the bank win, and then you got the earlier Ziggler Elites right here. And then finishing off this top row, guys, we do have the AJ Styles section, which is, you know, you got all the different AJ Styles Elites. Some are missing, and then we have a ton of blue attires, I feel like, coming up right here. So you got all the different AJ Styles coming up, and then it goes into a bunch of blue ones. Plenty of AJs that we could make, and plenty of custom attires that we could get, but AJ Styles figures, they really piss me off with the formula they use for him with, like, the small torso and stuff, so collecting his figures is kind of a buzzkill for that, so that really pisses me off. And then a huge shout-out to my boy Jesus, because anytime I see the sold-out attire right here from a few years ago, that fantasy attire, he always uh, pops in my brain, so there you go. But after we cover that section, guys, we move into the roster shelf. So these shelves right here, this is my MDT Vindication shelf, and then we have the MDT Live shelf down here, which we'll go into, but at the top, we do have my women's section, and the reason there's not a lot of women's section is because there's not a lot of room for it, so I at least have one, at least one section dedicated to them, because just recently is when those figures got really, really good, so I'm excited to, you know, replace those figures and stuff, so if we ever get, like, a new women's figure of somebody that we already had a figure of, more than likely it's gonna be better than their previous, and I'll replace it and put that one elsewhere, but over here we have my favorite anime character in Vegeta, so I have a couple SH figure arts Vegetas, and then we have the women's figures that, you know, we, we, we could just run through right quick, got an Italian, you know, just all your main roster ladies, pretty much all your main champions right here, you got Asuka, Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha, Becky, you got the Iconics, you got Alexa Bliss, Tamina, Paige, Trish, the Ultimate Edition, Ronda Rousey, Bianca Belair, and then at the end here, we do have quite a few Litas right here with some customs and stuff of that nature. You got a Team Extreme Lita, a Rated R Lita, and then a regular Network Spotlight, or was that, that was a Royal Rumble Elite, and then you have a couple Chinas at the end of that section. Before we get into these roster shells, I do want to show off the retro collection, so this is just an ever-growing retro collection. I don't really collect them anymore, I just kind of gotten to this point and kind of stopped. If I ever want to track down the rest, I will. If I see any, you know, at retail or something, I'll go ahead and grab them, but this is the extent of the retro collection. I thought about selling it at one point. We'll see about that, but after that, we have my frame Mattel poster right here. Got some little muscle figures right there. You have my calendar, which is December 2020. We got Cesaro in the house. Above that, we have my John Cena autograph that I picked up at an event. We have this Ring of Honor Kevin Steen. Kill, Steen, kill. You guys know I love Kevin Owens, so I have that figure on display. And then right here, we have a funny story about this Kurt Angle that is mock. I'll, I'll get into that at a later date. Since this video is so long already, I'll get into that at a later date. But we also have this Zack Ryder t-shirt that is autographed by him that got sent to me. And I have another story for that another day. I won't get into those stories right now. But at the end, we do have the MDT flag above all at the end there, covering up a nice space on the wall. So I wanted to go ahead and knock out that wall before we get into the roster shelves. So starting out on bottom, guys, we do have the MDT champion Roman Reigns. You got the Usos. You got the Extreme Champion Kevin Owens. You got US Champion Jack Swagger. And then you just have a rundown of the roster right here. You guys can let me know at the end. Guys that are not featured on this shelf right now are Dolph Ziggler. Seth Rollins is also on this roster. And Luchasaurus is also on this roster. But they are not featured right here. So you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if MDT Live or Vindication has the better roster. So there is the current roster. And then at the end, you got the GM, Eric Bischoff. And then you have your ring announcing crew, Brad, me, and my wife's figure, which looks beautiful. I think it looks just like her. And then you have my ugly face. And then if we come just above that, guys, we do have the Vindication roster with current champions Kenny Omega, Cody, the Young Bucks, and then AJ Styles as Revolutionary Champion. After that, we have the Wyatt Colt. You got Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black, Luke Harper, RIP. Rest in peace again to that man. You got the Wyatt Colt, so you got, uh, it's, it, it ends here and it starts with Bray Wyatt, so you got a nice little faction there. You got the Miz, Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano. Pretty solid roster. I think both rosters are absolutely stacked, but you guys can be the judge of it down in the comment section below with all the big names and stuff. You got Orange Cassidy, Rusev, Drew McIntyre, the Fashion Popo, and then you have Braun and Kane, who are a newly formed team right there that look really good. But I think mercifully, that does it for the room tour. Again, you got the gaming and computer setup here. You got where I film all my videos over here, which is nice. You got uh, the PlayStation 2 section whenever that gets used. You got all my display over there. You got the customs and pieces of ish over there. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I feel like I ran through the entire room. I feel like I've been here for about a year and a half. Probably video is going to be like 45 minutes. I wanted to get it in under 20. That didn't happen. But I guess the last thing I can show you guys is my fodder boxes. So in these boxes are all my WWE action figure parts. This one is just dedicated to Seth Rollins. So you got my Seth Rollins parts. You got uh, arms, legs, and then you got bigger pieces down here in these two. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for the entire room tour. I appreciate you guys. I didn't know that a damn room this small could actually be, you know, have, have, take that 
long to actually film. Also, shout out to the zebra print for, you know, the zebra print curtains because those are baller. They go with the, you know, the MDT theme up there and you know, they tie in. Anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's get into our random shout out before we go. So this shout out is going to go to Cheesy Wrestling. He says, I'm so exited for MDT Live. It'll be a great show. I think he meant excited, but I think MDT Live should go up tomorrow. I think on New Year's Day, we may have a double upload, full collection video, and MDT Live. We'll see how the editing process goes, because editing the full collection video is going to take me an ass of a long time, and then editing the MDT Live is going to take me a very long time as well. But I'm going to do my best for you guys. As soon as I wake up in the morning, at the time you're seeing this, I should be editing and stuff like that. So I'll be editing all day, filming all day. It'll be a great, good old football day. But have a happy New Year, guys. Shout Shout out to Cheesy Wrestling for the comment. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys stuck around to the end. If you did, if you guys stayed all the way to the end, hit me with a hashtag MyDamn2021 down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the... Actually, I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> That's why you crossed the line, Brad. You crossed